All the data for this tutorial can be downloaded from the Lake Vic Fish Dataverse, available at the link in the comments. Click on an Add Vector Data button, browse to the Lake Victoria Shoreline shapefile, and click Open. Go to the Processing Toolbox and search for Buffer. Open the Fixed Distance Buffer and then change the distance to 10,000. That's going to be 10,000 meters. Under Buffer, click on the ellipsis and go to Save to File and then browse to wherever you want to save your file and name it LV Buffer and then click Run. It might take a minute uh, and the first time I ran this tool it didn't work so I have two buffers so I'll just get rid of one. Right click on it and go up to remove and it'll go away. Click OK. Move the Lake Victoria shoreline up above the buffer layer so that you can see the shoreline and the buffer. And then go up to the measure line tool and measure from the shoreline to the outside edge of the buffer and you'll see that it's about 10,000 meters. Go back to the processing toolbox and search for convert. Then go down under Saga and click Convert Lines to Points. We're going to convert the buffer layer to points. So save as file and name your file. I'm calling this LV Points and click Save and then click Run. This tool will convert the outline of the buffer to a point layer. Now click the X's and turn off the Lake Victoria shoreline and the buffer layer so you can see the points and zoom in on one section so you can see the individual points. Zoom back out to the layer extent. Go back to the processing toolbox and search for convex. Then under grass GIS 7 commands vector click on v.hull and we're going to use the points layer and Go to Convex Hull and save as file. Save it as CV Hull and click Run. Now you've turned that point file into a polygon, a simplified polygon. Turn off all the layers and then turn on the Lake Victoria shoreline. Go back up to Processing Toolbox and under GDAL uh, under GDAL conversion, click convert format, and the input layer is the buffer layer. The destination format is GeoJSON, and then go down to output layer and save to file. We're calling this LV GeoJSON. Click save. I messed up the title, so change that B to an N, and then click Run. And now the output layer is that GeoJSON, but we're going to remove it. So right click and go to Remove in the Table of Contents. Click OK. And then browse to your file that you just created, the GeoJSON. Remove convex hull, remove points, and remove buffer. Go back to the processing toolbox. Under grass GIS 7 commands, go down to raster. Oops, nope, go to Vector, then go to V.Clean. Your input layer is the Lake Victoria shoreline, and then click Run. Get that 
take a little bit. And when it's done, you'll have two layers, one called resulting errors layer and one called cleaned vector layer. So turn off everything except resulting errors layer and nothing shows up so there aren't any errors. Double click on cleaned vector layer to open the layer properties. Go to style and then go over to color and go down to opacity and change it to zero. So that way we can see through the layer. And then click on simple fill and go to the border width and increase it a little bit. This is 1.2 ish and click OK. Then go up to the top toolbar and go to web and open layers plugin and then Bing and Bing Arial. Now you have the satellite imagery. So just move that below all the other layers so that we can see both the vector shoreline and the imagery. Zoom in to one part of the shoreline. Double click on clean vector layer again to open the properties and then click on simple fill and decrease the border width a little bit and then make the border something like red that will show up on top of the imagery. And then pan around and you can see that the shoreline vector layer is a close match to the aerial imagery.